Hi, I'm Naomi Graves and I'm the co-founder of Garage Gym Life. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick review of the iHome Cordless Portable Blender. So go ahead, hit like and subscribe for me and let's dive right in. Before we go any further, I want to point out that this is not an Apple product, but it's a cool product that I've been using for the past month. So basically, this is a portable personal blender. It's super light, super convenient, and especially for me, because even though I work from home, so I don't have to worry about commuting to and from an office, I do still have to go upstairs after working out here at our home gym to shower and get ready for work. So having something like this makes it much more efficient in terms of getting my day started. Plus, having this makes it a whole lot easier to stick to my nutrition during the day because sometimes I have back-to-back -back meetings. So with this blender, all I have to do is make sure I keep my office fridge stocked with my favorite ingredients. And it's real easy because this is so quiet to mix up something really quickly during a meeting. And then I'm able to get nutrition in even if it means taking a quick sip while I'm off camera. So let's break down some of the specs of this before I show you how it works. As I said, this is a portable blender. So although you're not able to use it to mix shakes or anything like that while driving, it does fit in your cup holder in your car. I found that it's easy to toss in your bag to take with you while you're running errands. And in fact, another easy tip is, say you go to the grocery store and you're able to mix a shake right there in the parking lot so you, you don't end up going into the grocery store hungry well, because we all know what's gonna happen if you do that. The blender has steel blades that can reach up to 1900 RPMs and it's made out of ABS materials, so it's BPA free. And as a safety feature, if the cup isn't securely fastened or you take the cap off, the blender won't operate. So you don't have to worry about being cut accidentally by those steel blades that I've mentioned. It's got a capacity of 10 and a half ounces or 300 milliliters, but keep in mind that this includes the volume of everything you're putting in there. You want to make sure that you don't go over eight ounces of liquid. If you're going to add like berries or oats, like I do when mixing my shakes or smoothies, there are fill lines on the bottle itself. So if you grab one of these, make sure you play around with it a little bit because some of you may want to put yogurt in there or you may add multiple scoops of whatever powder you are using. Like I said, just play around with it until you find the right mixture of liquid to solids, depending on whatever you make, a shake or smoothie. I know you want to see how this works, so let's go over that now. All you have to do is add your liquid, then add whatever ingredient you want. My personal favorites right now are two tablespoons of oats, a half a cup of mixed berries, and eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk. Securely fasten the lid. Then you're going to need to double click the start on the blender and then flip it upside down and wait 40 seconds. When I received this, I think the battery had a charge, but according to the manufacturer, this has a 1500 milliamp per hour battery that fully charges within two and a half hours using the included USB-C cord. And it gives you about 16 blends on a single charge. Again, looking at the convenience factor, let's say you take this with you on a road trip, you're going to be able to easily plug it into your car to charge. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure is about whether this is TSA compliant because of the steel blades. 
So if you're going to fly somewhere, you would probably put it in your luggage instead of your carry-on. As far as cleaning the blender, at the top is not dishwasher safe. So you will need to wash it by hand, but that's actually fairly easy. You can literally use the blender to clean itself. Just open it up, add water and your favorite detergent and let it go through its 40 second self-clean cycle. And if you want, you can then go back and manually make sure that there isn't anything left over residue underneath the blades or on the silicone inside the rings of the cab. Overall, I think this is a great travel option, whether this means you're going out of town or if you're using it with you as you commute to and from work or running errands around town. Just a little bit over half a pound and it easily fits into your backpack. And if you guys would like to grab one for yourself, the link to do that is in the description of this video. If there's anything that I didn't cover, be sure to drop a comment and let me know and we'll answer you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.